photo is just so unique because it has this incredible ability to make us believe in things and situate us into real words which are not real but we want to trust it. I feel like with movies, we always know it's a fantasy versus this photo. Somehow we always want to think it was happening for real. Hi, my name is Emma America. I'm an artist, photographer, and activist. I mostly work in fashion and fashion imagery, but over time, my work has become inherently more political. And especially coming from Russia, it's been an important part of my journey to figure out how to use the talent and the voice I have to talk about things that really matter and that are being very censored. For the past three years, I was doing a lot of different kinds of activist work in Russia, just about like freedom in many different senses. Um, so now to feel like all of that was kind of for nothing, because nothing I will ever do will compensate for the amount of loss and pain that now has been inflicted by that country, is a really, it's a really tough thing to go through. And it's a really tough thing to realize that something that is inherently part of you is just so toxic. It's so funny though, because when it happened, it seemed so dramatic. And then a year later, things like this are happening every day. You know, when I got detained, it was like, everybody was freaking out. Like all the Russian media people being like, who has lawyers who can pull her out? Versus now, almost every single person I know has been detained. So that's just like a really freaky insight into Russian reality. In the end, I got charged with organizing a political protest and everybody who had participated for participating in one. And I felt incredibly guilty in front of all the people who I dragged into it. But I think it did cause a resonance that was worth it in the end. If more people can find the I don't know, the inspiration, the courage, whatever, to to just like speak up. Because when the when the riot gets too loud, like no matter how hard whoever tries, it's not possible to comment. You know, when the fire is too big, you can't you can't have enough water to put it down. <laughs>